So previously what we've been doing, we, uh, we found our motorcycle dude, which isn't a motorcycle, we just kind of ride around on him. We found him, gave him a sandwich. I went to school, learned that we need to do a treasure hunt. Our treasure hunt is now doing gems, titans, and Team Star bases. Uh, we've done three gems, uh, Bug, Grass, and Electric, I believe. And we did one Titan, which was a rock. He was cl Clarf, cl Cloth. So my goal this time is I'm gonna try to push through uh, between Titans or gems. I don't know which one I wanna prioritize yet. Maybe we push through to get more gems done. We're going to this gem. The Bewitching Beautician. What in the world? Look at it! How do I take a picture? Oh, I'm just supposed to push the screenshot button on the on the switch. I see. Could you imagine if like, that's how you did Pokemon Snap? You just, you just, Pokemon run around, you take screenshots. Dude, what is this? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Where you pull out the stake. Okay. What's it do? When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Um. Okay, I think I broke something, guys. I don't think I have a crab brawler. What? How do I get out there? Oh, it's a dragon air. Oh, oh, get him. Go get the dragon air. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't think that worked. I was like, when was this a thing? All right, here we go. Alan! Whoa, what is that? Good, good. What's your next Pokemon? <sighs> Dang, man. Not great at all. I got a... Bad feeling about this battle here, guys. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Oh, he didn't flinch! Oh, it didn't kill me. That's good. And he's damaged by the recoil. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, let's, uh... Seed bomb with stab, just to make sure he's dead. We did it, guys! Yes. Damn, Alan. That was a fight. Thank goodness we have this army of ghost Pokemon preparing for this psychic gym. What is that? Well, I don't know what that is. That's a weird looking flower Pokemon or something. Pokemon Center! You found a mass outbreak of a wild, of a what? What are you? What level are you? Bombardier, oh my goodness, this is not good. Run. So they do have, like, uh, shoot, what's it called? A breakout? Like in Arceus and stuff? What the heck is that? Oh, <gasps> is that what Nimble turns into? That's cool. Oh, God! Ah! Run! Whoa. It's the ostrich Pokemon. I'm going to sneak up on it. Look at this. It's got like a little dress. I'm just checking you out. It's okay. Calm down. He has hair. Or she has hair. Look at that. Wow. Ah, Jeez. <gasps> yes. Yes. Wait, is there a step in between or does it just turn into that thing I saw earlier? 
Ah, oh, cool. It just turns that thing I saw earlier. It looks like a robot. Look at that thing. Look at that Swiss Army knives on his back and stuff. Jancy, look at this bug. It's like Robocop the bug. When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously folded legs to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. That's cool. All right, well, I've... I've ooh, lunge. What's lunge going to do? The user makes a lunge at the target, attacking with the full force. This also lowers the target's attack. Uh -huh. Let's go see what happens in here. We'll probably run across uh, Nimona. Well now, Aaron. Hassle. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this the kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo, I heard you're, like, way too good at battling, yeah? I'm gonna say not that good. Pah, you can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little fars farcical, shall we say? But like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Farcical. Anyway, tell you something. You look fun, like interesting, at a glance anyway. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh huh, yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right kiddo? See, when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gyms what you've got. Welcome to the Alfornada Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Aaron, yes? Uh, great. Now, in order to face gym leader Tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Alfornado Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. So, over here. Osu, welcome new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. ESP. Why is your battle studies teacher here at the Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and, well, this is what she has to do, huh? Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance for us both to get a workout in and my help and my and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge, okay? What's it hit more than once? I don't know if I just hit it more than once or what. Do I just hold it? Did I do it right? I feel like it needed some rhythm to it. I get to hit the buttons in rhythm or something. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. Okay. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put the muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. Oh no. Gotta keep moving is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. Uh, what level are they? Katarita. Level 43! Uh, flinch, please, flinch! Dang, no flinching. Lick it! Give me all the fake tears you want, I don't care.
do a U-turn. Does a psychic move, maybe? Good. I'm glad we got a Sableye. We're gonna do a fake out. Cool, get a flinch. Then we're gonna do a shadow sneak. Get that priority move. One more Shadow Sneak should finish it off. 21 versus a level 43. Dang, I need just a little bit more damage. <coughs> All right, cool. Level 21 beat a level 40, whatever it was. <gasps> yes, Haunter! <laughs> Awesome. It likes to lurk in the dark and tap shoulders with a gaseous hand. Its touch causes endless shuddering. You're challenged by gym trainer Raphael. All right, Grumpig. Dang. I didn't have my terrestrializing to make me faster that time. Power gym is not great. He's a fast pig. Nope, not fast enough. Well, we were doing pretty good for a while there, guys. I doubt I'm going to survive this. Yep. Because I'm also poison type, which isn't great. <clears throat> we lost. You're overwhelmed by your defeat. Ooh, a water gem. Okay, we can now fly back here. So let's do this. I wouldn't mind evolving all these. Haunter can't actually evolve, but I would trade them. They learn the same thing at the same level? Ah. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm game to trade him out. Ah, oh, that's cool. Just took off into the Aether. Whoa. It's the same kind of idea, but now it's in, like, real life. Take the item from the duck. Okay. Ah, how about this? I'll give you this male Salandit that I can't do anything with. If that's okay. <gasps> My Gengar! Yes! Bye, Gengar. Thank you, Pong. To steal the life of its target, it slips into the prey's shadow and silently waits for an opportunity. That's scary. What else we got this way? What are you? What is that? Why does it look like a skull kid? What the heck? If I just throw a Pokeball at this thing. Catch the skull kid. Huh, okay. Capsa kid. We are doing a, a, a gym. Is that Cherim? Who is this? No, who is this? Flittle. Alright, whatever a flittle is, we found one. Cool, alright. We're doing good. Is it a bird? Is it like a baby version of the big ostrich we had? Because that thing was wearing a dress. Whoa, look at these windmills. Oh, what's this? Whoa! That bird's dropping boulders. All right, let's get up this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lots of boulders. Look how bouncy they are. Eee! Ah! 
We did it! Oh man, he looks huge. It's a cool, like, storky design. Yeah, he's very big. All right, um, none of my moves here currently are bad as strong. Let's just do this. Not the pluck. Slash it again. Not dead yet. Oh, he's gonna break that rock and eat the eat the stuff. No, quit it. Aaron, you managed to get the Titan somehow. So that's the open sky titan. Wait, is this titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. Looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. Okay. Why are you using your little salt Pokemon? I guess he's rocky, right? It's you turn it. Shaboom. We're done. Don't have to worry about who I'm going to swap out. Cool. Another Titan down. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Let's go get some of that. Sweet, sweet herbs. What's the secret thing he's doing? I don't want to get betrayed again. I can't have that happen once. It's one of the herbs that make no mistake. I mean, that's not what he said. Make no mistake. This is one of the herbs. Bitter Urbot Mystica. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Get who to eat some? Well, what are we waiting for, Aaron? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. As a token of my gratitude, of course. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge. Oh, the Titan Badge! Yeah! Alright. That should have showed up. Um, no, give it to him, it's fine. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out the whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Coridon could have a sandwich. Can move across water now. Duh, that makes so much sense. Last time I got to go faster, huh? This time I get to go across water. It is replacing HMs. Did it grow stronger again? It's like the bicycle, except it's a thing I have to collect HMs and do more. Ah, so the Titans are my HMs. That makes so much more sense. That makes a lot of sense. And this thing was flying at one point, right? So if I keep getting these Urban Mysticas, it'll just let me fly, go across water, whatever. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. Yes, tell me the story, please. Excuse me. Come on out, bud. My boss stiff? Oh, what? Okay. That's a big mastiff. Oh, look at him. Now it's getting sad. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. He's just getting old. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. But Bostiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. <laughs> so I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. Aww. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over, and I tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about Herba Mystica. I found it in my mom's lab. Area Zero is home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, 
Before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabostiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed. They've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Aww. Mabostiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? I barely know this dog, but it feels so sad. Yes, I did it! It's It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes, I was so worried. Oh man, I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad. Those fiery orange little eyes, hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabostiff back to full health, I swear. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. <sighs> now I wanna go do all the Titans. Man, I didn't like him when we first met that guy. He seemed like a jerk, but he must have just been frustrated because his pet was dying and he was just trying to save his pet and was busy with all this other stuff. Hello, Aaron, this is Sada. I detect the Coridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Now it can move across bodies of water, opening up new ways to get around. If you press the B button while you're on the water, Coridon can even jump. That is such a sweet moment. I really like that. Now I just want to save this doggy. What's going on now? Apparently, this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaken off and on, and uh, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm gonna sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. All right, guys, before we leave, what do you think, Titan or Jim? Titan looks like it's that way. Jim is this way. Titan, Titan, Titan's too strong. You believe? Ah. Oh! A challenge, you say? I'm assuming this is a Pokemon, right? It is! Uh, if I bite it, will it die? Okay. Don't bite those Pokemon, whatever those are. Alright, we're gonna go back to a Pokemon Center and heal, because we've been damaged a lot and lost some Pokemon. But we caught a Bramblin. Whatever a Bramblin is. At first I thought it was like a decoration in the desert. You know, like there's no grass, so we have tumbleweeds, but is it like bug and grass and ghost? Okay. A soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Interesting. This Pokemon must have an evolution, right? I'm at it to my party. It's grass type, it's ghost type, this guy's dead already anyway. Oh, is that it? Dude, it looks like an elephant. Dude, this thing's crazy looking. This has to be it. Can I fight you? Dude, it looks like a Don fan. Aaron, right, Professor Sada, great. Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Great Tusk, the, what's its name? What's your name? We're gonna terrestrialize, we're gonna seed bomb. This is cool. This version is an exclusive Titan? Ah, okay. I wonder what the other one is. I like the exclusive gems and stuff in Sword and Shield, so having exclusive Titans is a cool idea too, I think. Oh, that hurt. Sea bomb. All right, I'm a little worried with what it just did. You gonna hit me first, right? Break, break. <coughs> All right, so we had break, break, knock off. That's not good. 
Alright, knockoff was the first move. So he has knockoff and brick break. Dang. It did get paralyzed, though. So that's good. He's gonna die, and that's okay. We can deal with that. He's a ground type, so I'm just gonna use a seed bomb. If I can survive one more hit. Damn, brick break, man. Alright, I think we're gonna lose this one for now. I don't have enough grass types and stuff with me. Dang, he's still faster with paralysis. We might need to go do that gym first, guys. I think we do the gym. I think we're going to be in better shape than taking on that Titan. Ah! Let's head straight to the gym. We're going to do the gym. Where's the gym? This place is cool. This looks like where the, gy the gym battle should be. You want to head to the upper tiers? Just wait in front of the elevator here for a moment. Okay. I don't understand what's going on. Do I have to, like, hit A or something? Just, like, do... Oh. Oh. There's a cinematic to make the elevator come down? <clears throat> Alright. Do I can go up again? Oh, man. Okay. More Max. <clears throat> Valton Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. Ah! What the heck? Ah, Kof Kofu, wait. I got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just left here is the, ah, the leader of Kaskarafa Gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kid. Kind Jim... Oh, that's where you come in, kind Jim Challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Yes. Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> can I just keep the wallet? This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Porto M Marinata? other side of the desert west. Wait, what? I gotta go across the desert? Damn. Alright, well I got the money now, so let's go find another gym. Alright, we're going across the desert. We got, we got Finna's in good. Um, yeah, these guys are okay for the desert. Let's go. You guys think I've walked a thousand yet? How long does it take? Please. Yes! 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 I'm so happy! Alright, don't have to worry about Bramblin' anymore. What you gonna turn into? Okay, a, a bigger one. Oh, he got a little smiley face. From just the right angle, there's a little face there. And he's happy to see you. It will open the branches of its head to envelop its prey. Once it absorbs all the life energy it needs, it expels the prey and discards it. Ugh. Dang. Okay. Let's go see the... Uh, there he is. Beach time. Fulton Veluza, where, where in the world? Dude, his hair. Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. <clears throat> uh, is he like a, a cook? If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folk or what? Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. All right. We're gonna kick your butt. We might be getting close to evolving this guy. I don't know when he evolves. We're already level 34. Uh, shoot, was he 28? Is that where we're at? Not too bad. He sends out another water Pokemon. I'm sending out Bramble Gas. Dude, 
do it at least twice. One more time would be nice. Cool. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty too. Because he gave me his money. Ha ha. Hey, you step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. He does have an apron on, huh? Seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? Return to wallet. My wallet? Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? Yeah, <laughs> that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. Guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Porto Marin Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. An auction, huh? So as you can imagine, we both we were both a bit worked. I feel like that's so as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I had forgotten my wallet. Is that how he's supposed to talk? He says, Ken. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. What is it? Feast your eyes on the main... They don't all sound like this, right? I don't know. On the main event, I have here the legendary Kami Seedweed of the Hoenn region. Ah, oh, Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? <gasps> I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. Gotta get me some of that. Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Casa Carafa gym, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, you're gonna need some smarts. And if this is the perfect place to test you, get the winning bid on the seaweed for this old man. Uh, okay. <laughs> you already know the ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. Uh-oh. You're something else, kid. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. I probably should have gotten the rules. Why don't you do it? Why are you giving your money to a kid to buy it? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I messed up. Owen's legendary Wakami seaweed will start the bidding at 10,000. No bid yet. We're at 25,000. Do I hear more? I don't want to run up the price. No bid yet. Alright, 30,000. 40! 45. What in the world? All right, got it for 45. Hope that's a good deal. I probably, if I would have jumped from 35 to 40, I wouldn't have had to done the one stair step maybe because they might not have gone past that point anyway. I don't know. We'll see. That was amazing. You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning the seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. Kame. <laughs> this seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I'd have failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. Man, I think he gave me exactly 50. You can use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to the gym now. Old man Kofu's gotta prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. A real! Alright, we're gonna travel back across over to the gym. And we're gonna walk it so that we can evolve Palmo. Because if we can evolve Palmo, he's an electric type. And he probably would be good to have against the uh, the water gym. Better than Wiglet, you know? What's that mean? Dude, he's running all on his own. Alright. Is he ready to evolve? Is that what that means? All right, will he evolve? Yeah, sweet. Oh, okay. Palmot, Palmot. 
All right. Still electric fighting. This Pokemon normally is slow to react, but once it enters battle, it will strike down its enemies with lightning fast movements. Wants to learn Revival Blessing? What is that? User bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted and restoring half that Pokemon's max HP. Huh. Well, I kind of want to take it. I've never seen this move before. But what do I get rid of? Nuzzle? He wants to skip it? Alright, why not? Sure. Alright, Relor. Are we ready to evolve you yet? Did we walk you enough? Did I take you in and out of your ball too much? Sweet. Alright, what you gonna look like? Relor. Oh, dude, his face is down out of his butt. He pushes with his feet. What the world? What does that remind me of? The bug reminds me of something. I just can't place it. Maybe it's the Scarab. Did you guys ever play the uh, Super Nintendo? And I think for the Sega, there was the old Aladdin game. I think it was like two pieces of the Scarab that you could put together or something. I don't know. It seems familiar. Maybe Spider-Man symbol. That could be. The body that supports the ball barely moves. Therefore, it is thought that the true body of this Pokemon is actually inside the ball. Ah. I mean, it's like running around in there like a hamster or something. All right, let's go take on this gym. I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. Can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Sure. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's see what Pokemon he's got. Surging chef. Old man Kofu, play with us. Come on. I would be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Ah, he's got a restaurant. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick. Oh, is someone else asking for that? I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Well, it's like the Pokemon is the hobby in some way and fashion. Though in other ways, it's like the professor is like, that's the job. All right, somebody up. I've been waiting for you. His hair is quite interesting. This crazy unibrow thing he's got going on up here. And then like, it looks like this beard is like also suction cupped up here. And then, I don't know. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. Yeah, it's like a mustache on his forehead, exactly. Actually, does he have eyebrows up here? What are, is this like a, does he have like two sets of eyebrows that are both unibrows? So he still only has two eyebrows, but they both go all the way across his forehead? Man, I stopped reading what he was doing. I'm so distracted with his eyebrows. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat him though. <laughs> He's got a five head and his eyebrows have eyebrows. He does, his eyebrows have eyebrows. Wug Trio. Whoa. That must be Wiglet. Uh, I'm gonna seed bomb it. Ah, oh, he headbutted me three times. Oh shoot. That's not good. What do you think things look like under there? You think they're like all connected? Or do they go down into the ground? Don't flinch again, don't flinch again, don't flinch. Dang it! Quit flinching. Wug Trio is a odd name. I agree. Don't headbutt me again. Okay, good. Now he should be dead. There we go. There we go. Look at this guy. Dude, look at this carbominable. That's pretty cool. Fun fact, Veluza's name is based on the hockey called Merluza in Spanish, but the visual design is an albacore tuna. I probably didn't say the H word right. 
There we go. I mean, yeah, his water type thing probably would have... He probably would have been better as a fighting ice type. Valton Veluza, you're a li lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. Breloom! I love Breloom. Especially after Gen 3, my like my only Nuzlocke I've ever done was Gen 3. Breloom was one of my favorite Pokemon. Sadly, it didn't make it. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a Master Fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. And let's get real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a little while now. Where are we at? Where are we at? What are we at? <laughs> All right, we got our water one. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 40 will be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me know, let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. User attacks the target by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. Also lowers the target's attack stat. That's cool. Alright, it's about time to head on back to my restaurant and got a and got a got to prepping for the next wave. Aaron, hola. Caught you just as you finished up here, huh? Nice work. Can't believe you're halfway through your gem journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. I figured we were going to, but I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions, which means this time I've got to ask for a rain check. God, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Aaron. Forgive me. Forgive me! I'm gonna go take on a Titan. Let's make sure that I have some Titan people. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the safety, Pokemon. <gasps> ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. It's wearing like a mask, like a superhero. Meow Scarada. Meow Scarada? Meow Scarada. It's got like a, almost like a cape and a mask. Grass and dark type. This Pokemon uses the reflective fur lining. It's this Pokemon uses the reflective fur lining its cape to camouflage the stem of its flower, creating the illusion that the flower is floating. Ah, cool. Okay, that makes sense then. The user throws a rigged bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always lands a critical hit. Oh, Hippopotas. I don't have a Hippopotas. Ooh. So he just turns into three pink ones? Why is he turned pink? Walk Trio. It has a vicious temperament contrary to what its appearance may suggest. It wraps its long bodies around prey, then drags the prey into its den. Cool. All right. No more evolutions for him, huh? All right, guys. Round two of this dude. All right. Let's do this. We're going to win this time. We got to take it out. And then Arvin will show up and he'll help, he'll help us take it out the rest of the way. We're going to tear the lies right off the bat. 
Yeah, 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 Professor. <sighs> Alright. Terrestrialize. Flower trick. Hope we're strong enough to withstand some hits this time. We have another evolution and several more levels, so... Critical hit. Weak. Ah, oh, yes. The weakness, the stab, the crit. Perfect. Terrestrializing. I'm weak to fighting. Okay, I guess not. That was close. Uh, just do it again. Just do it again. Just do it again. Just do it again. Hurt him. Kill him. Beat him. We both hurt each other like the same. Man, my terrestrializing has gone. Dude, he just ninja vanished. Wait, what? <sighs> Dang it. We should have went back to the center. We still don't have terrestrializing back. Ah, oh, he came here to break the hole. I'm sure that thing what you and me can do, Aaron. Hope you have a good Pokemon ready to fight. Alright. Uh, we will use... Oh, we can, we can Terrestrialize again? We can! Okay, cool. Sco Scovillian. Scoville... What? Okay. A little weaker than last time, but okay. Almost there. Razor Leaf! Aw, oh, man. Just doing more. Awesome. Very good. Titan Great Tusk. All right, cool, we did it. Look at all the XP. I knew it. Herba Mystica. Sour Herba Mystica. Chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. This will definitely help Mabostiff feel even better. Come on, Aaron, let's get some uh, food going. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Round. Hmm, he has returned. Figure this might happen, don't worry. I made extra this time for that brute of yours. Do you want to give your sandwich to Karidon? If he made extra, should I just say this is mine? I always give it to him every other time, though. Does it matter? I kind of want to see what this is mine will do. Yeah. Oh, he's so sad. Maybe you want to give your sandwich to Koridon after all. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll share it. Come out, my boss. Uh, got some for you too, bud. What's up? 
What's he gonna do now? He can glide. Cool. At least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? Hmm? This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, before I forget, Aaron, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find him, right? Looks like the book says it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titans so big and strong. Does that mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? Oh, you done with your sandwich? Rough. R rough? You, you heard that, right, Aaron? Robostiff just woofed, right? Yeah? Right, I'm not imagining things. Oh, my boss, if who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best boys? You are. Yes, you are. It's It's been so long since I heard of that woof. Aw. My boss, if is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. It's like a happy sad to see him, like... So excited that his, his puppy is responding and talking and doing stuff he hasn't done in a long time. All right. I just had Karadon to regain more of its original power. After it's jumped into the air, you should try pressing B again. It should glide now. Press the B button when you're in the air. Karadon will now glide. If you press the B button once more, you'll stop gliding and immediately start falling. Okay. <gasps> oh, there's a little one. Ah! I wonder what its name is. All right, that's it. We're gonna level up Fampy. All right, where are we going? Let's head to this gym. What's this over here? The search for the false dragon titan. Hmm, let's go here first. Dude, all these roads are blocked up. Why are all these roads blocked up? Just go on a hunch here, but are you that Aaron kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says, cool as a cucumber. Honesty is not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Our Meow Skorada is pr pretty good right now. Maybe we should box it for a little bit. Now hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Sigan Squad. Their boss, Gaia Como, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our Declaration of War won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plans is probably... To wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you are ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the squad off the map. Okay, let's do it. Wait, the first three? No! What if I need my cat? He was my sixth one! Oh! Okay, Quaxol, we're relying on you and... Whoever the other two guys were that we happened to have. I think it was the dog and someone else. They call it a star barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. All right. Send your Pokemon with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose, a, you lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. 
If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. All right, Bampy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing it. We're no, no, we're doing good. I, I was worried. I thought we were doing the wrong way. I need, uh, yes. I need more health for Fampy. There we go. Fampy, do better. There we go. <sighs> He's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. Whoa. Dude, look at this car thing. How often do you see cars in Pokemon? Not too many of them overall. Giacomo, boss of Team Stars Dark Crew. You got a real number on us, Party Crasher. Aaron, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. DJ Vice, call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Do it, Quaxwell. You got this. Don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war and Team Star is a real bad move. Low sweep. Sent out Rev of Room. Time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. Is his car a Pokemon? What? I thought it was just a car. All right, low sweep it. This car's a Pokemon. Got him. Dude, it's smoking. Dude, how do I catch a Revavroom? Can I get one of these? Or is this like a special Pokemon and like you can't actually get it? Because I this would be cool. I want a Revavroom. Is that it? I need to do more of these Team Star things. Do they all have cars? Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Whoa, what's this? What? A flashback to his... Guess that's that. What's up, Giacom? Oh, are these all the other guys? That's a fire guy, right? Um, maybe Fairy... Maybe, ooh, wait, I got, uh, Badges Crew. So, Fairy, Fire, that makes sense to be Poison. Ooh, is that one fighting? He could be, he's gotta be Fairy. Huh, the big boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans, like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Aaron, ha, <laughs> no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it we got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes I cannot help but concur male students hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth your rules were vexation made manifest my point exactly so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code but you all always know What's best for the team, Giacomo? You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giacomo I'm looking at now? I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, 
Take my star badge, would you? Got my dark one. Foul play, huh? Mm. So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon viewers. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did, huh? I, actually, I should have said no. Okay, you like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell, you get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. On a, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? At first, I thought it was like interrupted. A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form a team. We call him the Big Boss. Ah, uh, Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now? We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then we'd, uh, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss didn't ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you. <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Well, that's sweet. It seems Giacomo's no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Is this the boss? Sorry. Got, my, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now... About your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. This is boss. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that it's the... The big, hey, it's, uh, did we get their name? I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. But, um, I'm helping out with the Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you, you know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Lots of Pokemon materials. You sh should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so... Um, Good luck. All right. And guys, I think that is where we are going to wrap up for this week. More Pokemon uh, next week. Make sure you guys go subscribe over on Pokemality. I will have uh, some stuff going up by uh, probably by the next Pokemon stream. There should be a new card video up, whether I put it up on Monday or this weekend or something along those lines. So I uh, hope you guys have a good week, and uh, I'll see you guys on Monday.